to access a document processing template, I can either click the reception and administration button on my toolbar and then press document processing. Or for quicker access, I can add it to my F12 favorites key. So here I can press F12 and now D and go straight into the template. And there's some instructions on how to configure your favorites on the frequently asked questions section of our website. So it's a good idea to have two screens when you're doing document processing. So this way you can have the letter open on one screen and your document processing template open on the second. And here at the top, I can code that I'm doing incoming mail processing. And then I have quick areas here where I can record any admission to or discharge to codes, any seen in or by, and any follow up codes. So here on the letter, if the patient's been seen by say the urgent care center, I can click on the red R here find the appropriate code and just OK at the bottom. I then have links to all the other areas of the document processing template and I can also navigate it with the tabs along the top. So if there's any blood test results on the document that I'm processing, I've got convenient areas for all of the blood test results here on the template, which I can just click and type the results. Diagnosis area allows me to see what diagnosis codes are already in the patient record. So if there's a new diagnosis of asthma on the document here, I wouldn't have to record it for a second time. I can just simply code that the diagnosis have been reconciled. If there's another diagnosis, I've got areas here where I can add on a new diagnosis code. I've got links to my asthma control questions, COPD control, and also the various diabetes monitoring and CVD screening templates. So for diabetic retinopathy, I can click on the screening link, select eyes, and I have all of my retinopathy codes here. I've also got a family history section at the bottom. So again, all existing family history will be in the window at the bottom, and I can just code that they've been reconciled, or any new family history codes I can add with the red R links here. Over to medication. I can see the medication that the patient's currently taking and any previous medication that they might have had. And if I need to add any new medication, I've got the links for a new acute or a new repeat template here. I can see the patient's vaccination history and record a new vaccination. I can also see the allergies and sensitivities and also record new from here. Over on the procedures tab, I can record whether the patient's had an ECG any CT codes, MRI or X-ray. Over to scores, there's a new audit C score on the document I'm processing or a PHQ-9, I can easily record it here. Over to vitals and lifestyle, if I need to update a patient's weight or height, I can do that here. And I've also got links to all of the lifestyle codes so I can update a smoking status or an alcohol status. Over to problems and summary, it's a good opportunity to tidy the, pro the patient's problems list and summary codes. So here I can see any existing uh, problem codes here. If it's inappropriate, I can right click and I can make inactive or I can mark in error. And also at the window at the bottom, I get some suggested codes that I may want to summarize or to create a problem for, in which case I can just right click and I can either use promote to problem or summarize from here. Over to the Quaff tab, I can see any outstanding Quaff alerts. And then finally, onto Actions. Here, I've got some useful documents that I can print off. So for example, if there's been an inappropriate request to prescribe other medication, I can print off a letter. And I can also record this, the overall status at the bottom. So my action is either completed successfully or an action has been required. If an action's been required, I can click the pencil next to it to put in a supporting note, but then choose forward for the overall document. If I've completed successfully, I can just choose completed on the document and file the letter.